battle fungus gnats, which is mosquito bits. Now I know it's there's mosquito bits, there's mosquito dunks, there's a couple different products, but it's all essentially the same thing, which is a type of bacteria, right? BT. Can you talk to us about BT? You know, what is it? What it actually does in regards to pest elimination and or pest prevention? Yes. So BT stands for Bacillus thuringiensis, and it is a species of bacteria with various strains. Now, you have different ones out there that are available. So some like Israelensis are used against flies and fly larvae, especially. Um, Kirstaki and Izawi, for example, are used against caterpillars, typically. And if you use the wrong strain, it will usually not have very much of an effect at all against the, the misapplied target. And how these work is essentially that these different strains, they produce various proteins, like cry proteins, for example, for caterpillars. And those, they all are toxic for the caterpillar or the fly larva. It gets into their gut. It um, gives them sepsis and they die very quickly. So it's not a great way to go out. Um, people are sometimes concerned because they think that maybe the BT would be uh, harmful for themselves. Uh, but it's actually very, very narrow um, in what they affect. It can't affect us. And also they require a alkaline gut, which caterpillars, for example, have um, to damage them. So we don't have that kind of gut anyways. So that's how it works. And it was pretty effective, in my opinion. It's one of the better things to use against things like budworm moths, for example. The only thing is that the organism has to come into contact with enough of the of the proper goals that you're applying. And usually that does require them to f be feeding at that time. So you're in this situation where you have to apply it and you have to apply it early and you have to apply it before the first sign of like budworms, for example, or fungus net larvae or something like that to have the, the best effect. Now, can you overdo it with BT, right? So like adding it to the soil, we always hear about having a balanced soil food web, right? And if you're continuing to add this in over and over and over again, this particular species, well, can this dominate and kind of throw things off in, in regards to the balance of the soil food web? That's a good question. And although other microbes, maybe this would be more true for, um, BT, I don't think so much because it's kind of an obligate or maybe a facultative, uh, or facultative uh, uh, parasite. So other bacteria and fungi in the in the uh, phytoplane and the rhizoplane, the foliage surface and the root surface, um, I think you'd probably want maybe a, a different kind of bacteria or fungus, um, or you'd, you'd consider something different uh, that would have that kind of disruptive effect potentially. This clip is brought to you by AC Infinity. Use discount code MrGrow at 15 to save on any of their products. Thank you.